Hello and welcome back to the Midnight Moose channel. We're playing the Talos Principle 2. We're in the Grasslands Ring, also known as East 1, and we're at puzzle number one. I wanted to make some walkthrough videos for these puzzles. Uh, the challenging ones are very challenging. This is the very first puzzle, basically. Um, so it's not that challenging, but I just figure I figure we cover them all and see what happens. RGB converter, that it turns two colors into image. one color that isn't being sent, so red and green can make a blue laser. As you see here, we free the box in the first puzzle, and then we just have to free another box. We have to send to red, so we're gonna pick blue and green and the red receiver, and there we go. We got our boxes back, and then we reset up what they had in the beginning, red plus blue equals green. We place both, where'd it go? Okay, when the boxes disappear, oh, there it is. When the boxes disappear, you know you got a problem. Luckily, uh, no problem here. So there you go, put those in there. You slap your hand on the progress wheel, and that's puzzle number one. All right, number two is next, if you can believe it or not. This puzzle is in fact called Reconnection. And I believe we have to get the shifter, so we have to give a red receiver, that's a blue and a green, through the converter. There we go. We steal that very well from that alcove, and then to get to the wheel, we need another red one. But because of the angling, we're gonna have to set up a green here, and then of course use it in the blue to give yourself the good old red laser. There you go, you can slap your hand on the wheel of progress, and you're done that one. All right, up next is number three. Once again, if you can believe it or not, we're gonna climb these beautiful looking stairs and enter this spacious area for the castling challenge. We're gonna pick up the converter. We have to free this other converter, so we have to go to the blue receiver. Let's get a red laser. A green laser, first of all. We're gonna put this down. That frees this one, and then we can enable the castling, also known as castling in chess. Pick this up and only give it the green and red. Don't send it to the blue. That would be a bad laser for this. Castling in chess, of course, when you, uh, I don't know, when you switch the important pieces around. I'm not a chess master. Anybody wanna help me on that one? I'm just kidding. All right, green plus blue equals red here. The red's on the button. It sends the signal, and we're at the wheel of progress. So there you go. Okay, number four is next. We're gonna head on in. It's just down the road from number three, believe it or not. Alternative option is the name. We have to switch this fan on, grab the converter. We need to get to the green receiver. So we're gonna click red and blue. We're gonna hop on down. Make sure you don't lose your connections. We're gonna turn the fan off at the next point. Grab the box, put it on the fan. Right click that to keep the connections. Put it on there, switch your switch. Now the green laser will be illuminated and there you go and then you can hit the progress wheel isn't that nice number five is next and this is where they really start upping the difficulty through the door and we just passed through a door so i think we won but not really yet uh grab your connector put on this button to allow you to pass through the first blue door the second blue door is jammed by this jammer that's great news except for the fact that we have to take that away take the jammer jam the far blue door grab a new rgb converter and you just put it down for now, that's fine. Um, grab the jammer, jam the original blue door that was jammed, take your converter outside, place it next to the button or anywhere nearby. You can then put the converter on the button, take your connector deeper into the puzzle. You wanna click the blue laser, the blue receiver, and you wanna put it a little far away, kinda so you can see the front purple door, right? Basically right there. Grab your jammer, jam the original blue door that was never jammed. Now we don't have to have a button pressure, you know, pressurized for that, so that's good. Grab your blue laser that you set up, great job. Grab the red laser, send it to the green, place it on the ground, and then you're good to go. Slap your hand on the wheel of progress, just like you do every day at work. Next up is number six in the East One area. It is called Alternatives. The alternative fuel source we'll be using here is lasers. Red plus blue equals green. Put it by the middle of the door. That's pretty good positioning. Positioning, pretty important for this area. Green plus blue, of course, equals red at that point. You can put it right there, I believe. That's A-OK. -okay. Now we have to make red or blue. Let's go with, uh, I don't know, blue, considering green plus red equals blue. You can put it down, you know, on the left side of the area. Grab your last converter and blue plus your original green equals your last red. It's, it's simple once you put it down, but some of the, you know, some of it really tackles with your mind. It's not good stuff. Anyway, put your hand on the wheel and you know what to do next. After a long jog, you'll find 
puzzle number seven, and you can enter it, believe it or not, and it's called self-sufficiency. Another puzzle where height is a big factor. Detach the fan in the back, place it on the button right near you with the green laser and receiver, and if you put it up here, that will keep the door open forever, so it's self-sufficient, as in the name of the area. Isn't that nice? All right, then you run the fan over the other end, grab your RGB converter, connect it to the red receiver, the blue laser, the green connector, and the other red receiver, and put it high up here on top of the stairs, and grab your fan, and that's it, really. Put the fan back where you got it, step onto the platform, you get tossed on top, and you can slap your hand on the wheel of progress. Isn't that nice? Okay, and the final numbered puzzle of the area is number eight. There's a few more after that, but for now we're in number eight, Entanglement. And here's how to do this one. You grab the connector at first, place it on this red button to take down the blue door. Grab the RGB converter. You can place it somewhere on this side of the blue door. You'll be good to go. Take your connector, connect it to the red laser, put it on the button so it actually feeds it into it, and you're good to go. Grab the blue laser from behind the blue door. Click the red connector and the green receiver. Put that on the button so that powers that. I'm going to take your hexahedron, aka cube, put on the fan. That'll be holding the converter soon enough. Put your converter on the ground for now. Grab the connector, place it here so this blue door opens. You want to convert blue and red into green power for the fan, of course. So you're going to put that on the box. doesn't work yet because we're not getting both colors. So you need to take your connector, click the converter, click the red laser, and then put it once again on the button. And then you stand on this button, and you'll be sending green that way, and now that it's so high, the red powers itself, and you can steal the connector from that, take the green, send it to the end, place this down, and that's number eight. The Wheel of Progress is complete. Or is it? The bridge ring seems to be fully charged. Okay, we are at one of the Lost Levels in East 1. Uh, the Lost Levels somehow interact with the Golden Doors everywhere eventually. I'm not quite sure how, but this is just how to do the puzzles. If you want a lore dump or an info dump, maybe that comes later. I don't know. But this is a Lost Level known as Interconnectivity, and this is how you solve it. You pick up your converter early on. You put that on the button there. That allows you to run to the back side of the puzzle. You can right-click this if you want to keep it easy. And put this on that to open the door almost forever. Um, you want to grab the converter that you originally had. You want to bring it back here, like old time's sake. Click this on the... actually, take that off there just a moment. Click your converter on the green receiver and the blue laser. And then you want to get a connector that was originally on the button. Click this red laser and make sure that's a good angle. Barely. Um, and they're sending a green laser this way. You know what that does. It frees two connectors for your use. Isn't that nice? So we're going to put them on the ground outside the door. Take the converter off. Its job is almost done. We want to connect the blue laser and the red laser to the green receiver and place it on this original button. Pick this up so you're not messing with the flow of everything. Uh, by the way, this one on the button can hit that blue receiver and this blue laser. That'll be perfect. Click the connector and lay a connector out here in the water. Hopefully you don't get electrocuted. If that happened once before, it's not very fun. All right, click that connector. Click the blue circle over there, and that's all connected. That's that. You can slap your hand on the wheel of progress to complete your first loss level. All right, that brings us to the last lost level of East One. They tried to drown the pillar. Luckily, it didn't work out. Let's hop in here and see what's going on. Elevation is the name of the puzzle. That means we're probably going to have to elevate something. Grab the connector and put it on the red button in the far back. There's your wheel, by the way. Um, take your box that we just freed, put it so we can see the blue receiver and the blue laser. That'd be best. Spoiler alert, we're going to be using them right now with this connector. And this is the elevation part, of course. So there we go. We're going to power this blue door to be open, which means we can take this RGB converter outside, connect here, power the blue receiver as well with this. Make sure you see both colorful lasers, otherwise it's bad. Take your blue uh, con uh, connector at first, grab your box, you can put it on the button that originally hid the box, it's kind of ironic, now the box works for us. Touch this converter, hop behind the box, power this receiver, make sure you see everything rather well, there you go, and that'll do it. You can use the Wheel of Progress, and you'll be done with East 1 Levels. 
And that's the end of this walkthrough. If this video helped you out, please leave a like. I would appreciate that greatly. Otherwise, that'll do it. So have a great day. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. And goodbye.